Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm testing out some DIYs that I had been wanting to try out from Pinterest. I'm a huge Pinterest fan. And when I get time, I like to try them out and I usually film them so that it makes an interesting video for my channel. Today I'm trying out some home DIY decor and everything's pretty reasonable and pretty easy to do so I wanted to share it with you. The first being the DIY rope centerpiece which um, you can get the plate for $4 at Michael's. It's four for three plates so you can make a few of these or you can just buy one and do a centerpiece. And then the rope is about $6 per roll. So with my hot glue gun, I'm just doing little hot glue gun dots and then I'm wrapping the rope all the way around till I fill up the entire plate. Now this one was definitely the most tedious out of all of them and I had to take breaks and also Oliver was sitting there watching me and we were like singing songs and talking. He always likes to watch me do these. Anyway, just in case you were wondering what my kid does when I'm doing these, he's usually just sitting there watching me <laughs> or somewhere close by. So anyway, this took some time, not too long, but it took some time, but I loved how it turned out. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and you can find these types of things at expensive stores, but I thought it was fun to make it myself and I was surprised. I didn't actually do as bad as I thought I was going to do. So yeah, this was pretty easy and I really liked it as a centerpiece. I'm actually going to put a vase over that, which leads me to my next DIY which is the DIY metallic vases, vase, vase, how do you say it, vase. Anyway, I'm taking two vases that I got at Home Goods. You can get these for anywhere from seven to $15. Um, I'm going to take some um, tape basically and tape off an area so that the paint doesn't get in that area so it's like half and half. So that's what I'm going to do with the first vase. The second vase, I'm just going to paint it completely. And then the metallic spray you can also get for about 10 to 12 bucks. And make sure that you're far enough back. If you get too close, it will definitely start to drip and it won't dry as evenly. So cover the entire vase with spray paint and then let it dry for about four to five hours. Okay, so once it dries, it's time to take a look at what it looks like. Now you can do this with rose gold, gold, or metallic like I did. I thought it turned out pretty nice. I might try gold next time or rose gold. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty and I just added hydrangeas into both of these. I did love how the metallic looked over the little rope centerpiece that I made and I thought it was really simple and um, classic so they were both really fun DIYs that I was excited to try and I thought they turned out pretty good plus they're pretty easy so that helped too. Next we're making a really fun DIY front door mat. So I got this mat at Walmart for five bucks and I'm just adding some rocks. The rocks vary in price point. You can find them on sale at Michael's, um, which is usually when I wait to get things is when it's on sale, but usually they run about $6 per bag. So I like to wait for when they go on sale. I love rocks, river rocks in my bathroom to put my soap on top of. And I thought that this was a really good idea to put shoes so that all the dirt and grime and yuckiness comes off onto the rocks. You do have to kind of clean the rocks every once in a while. Also, if you have young children, it's not really small enough to be a choking hazard, but definitely something they might throw or get into. So I try to remind my toddler not to touch. Next, we're doing a DIY no sew pillowcase, which really works for me because I'm not much of a seamstress. And I started with steaming it a little bit so it wasn't super wrinkly. I probably could have ironed it out a little bit more, but I just didn't. I love this because you can liven up a pillow that's not like that cute, which is this pillow right there that's not that cute. So I'm gonna start by folding the fabric over. I got this fabric at Joann's Fabric, which I would definitely recommend shopping there when they have sales. You can get really good deals on fabric. So I got this seafoam fabric there um, for about $13 and I had some leftover, so I didn't use it all for this pillow. I would have liked to spend a little bit less than that, so that's why it's good to go when they have sales. And then the way that I'm folding it is very similar to how I fold like Christmas gifts, which is I fold over once, and then I fold over again, and then I'm just going to take those two sides and tie them into a little knot. So I'm taking the little extra pieces and again making it look like a knot and just kind of tucking everything nice and neat. Um, yeah, I probably should have ironed it a little bit more, but 
I figured my son was gonna get into it and make it wrinkly anyway. But it added a really pop, nice pop of color to my couch, I think. I think it looked really, really cute and I loved it. Um, so I was a big fan of this one and it's really easy to make. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Check out my last two videos. Check out my other channel and subscribe to this channel if you like it. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.